wearing a vintage spired vintage spired hey everyone today i am doing a highly requested video and that is a vintage style hair tutorial so you guys have been noticing lately that i've been trying out some vintage inspired hairdos so to start you want your hair kind of curly and like to have some volume to it i use these velcro um, hair rollers. While my hair was still just a little bit damp, I put these in and I had them in for a few hours until my hair completely dried. Took them out and then this is how my hair turned out. You could always curl your hair or use hot rollers or whatever way you want to curl your hair. You could also do this with your hair wavy or straight, but it looks more authentic when it's curled. And this is just the way I like to do it, but I have also done it with straight hair and it does look cute. So for this first hairstyle, you are going to need one of these teasing combs and then you're also going to need some bobby pins. So first I'm going to take this um, sharp end of my teasing comb. I'm just going to part my hair. I'm starting right in front of the ear and then going all the way up to my part. And as you can see, I have a side part. You can do this with a side part or a middle part. It's all up to you. And then I'm going to back comb it. This is just going to add some more volume and it's going to help our hairstyle to stay throughout the day. So then you're going to take your hair out and then I'm taking these two fingers, placing them behind on the side of my head. And then you're going to wrap your hair around your fingers. This is a little hard to do when you're talking and trying to film it. <laughs> just like that. And then you want to take a bobby pin. You want to stick that down so that it's like on your head and it's kind of getting the inside of that roll. And you can take your fingers out once that part is secure. And then take another bobby pin. And you're gonna put this on the inside of the bottom of the roll. And at this point you can kind of shape it the way you want it and add more bobby pins to secure it. As you can see, I have this little bang hanging out, which is fine. If you don't want your bangs hanging out, you could just use more bobby pins to um, hold it back, or you can use hairspray. And I'm gonna basically do the same thing, but on this side. You can see my bangs are kind of coming down again. I personally like the bangs falling out. I think it looks cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this vintage inspired hair tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below any video requests that you have for Brylin and I. I love you all so much. Remember to be everything in love because you are lovely. Bye.